Welcome to the ultimate video on how to factory reset your iPhone, updated for late 2019. But before that, let's quickly go through the two best ways to back up all of your iPhone's data. If it's already backed up, you can skip ahead to this section of the video. The best way to back up your data is to use iCloud. On your iPhone, go to the Settings app, then tap your name at the top of the screen. Tap on iCloud and you'll see how much of your data is in the cloud. If it's full, you can upgrade your iCloud plan by tapping on Manage Storage and then tap Change Storage Plan. I personally have the 200 gigabyte plan, which I recommend because it's only $3 a month and it supports family sharing, but you can get up to two terabytes for $10 a month. Back at the iCloud page, make sure to enable all the apps you want backed up, especially your photos, contacts, and messages. Then scroll down and tap on iCloud Backup. Make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi and then enable it. Tap OK and then tap Backup Now. Once it's finished, make sure the last successful backup is up to date and you're good to go. Now, if you prefer not to pay for iCloud storage, you can back up your iPhone for free using iTunes. Download the latest version on your Mac or PC, open it, then connect your iPhone using your charging cable and make sure it's unlocked and on the home screen. Click Continue on the pop-up window then tap Trust This Computer on your iPhone and enter your passcode. In a few moments, an iPhone icon should show up in iTunes. Click on it. You should now see a summary of your iPhone storage. Within the backup section, switch from backing up to iCloud to this computer and make sure to check the box that says Encrypt Local Backup and then create a password for it. If you don't do this, your passwords won't be synced, forcing you to re-log into all of your apps. Your iPhone should now start backing up. Later on, you'll be able to connect this iPhone or a brand new one like the iPhone 11 and click Restore Backup to get all of your saved data onto your phone. Before resetting your iPhone, go to the Settings app. Then tap your name at the top of the screen. Scroll down, tap on Find My iPhone, turn the option off, and then enter your password. This will take your iPhone off of your Apple account so it's ready to sell. And now you can erase and factory reset your iPhone by going to Settings, tap General, then scroll down to the bottom of the page and tap Reset. Then tap Erase All Content and Settings. If it's been a while since your last backup, you can tap Backup and Erase, or you can just tap Erase Now if you recently finished backing up. Then simply enter your passcode and tap Erase. When it's finished resetting, you're done. Wait, don't leave just yet. If you enjoy tech videos like iPhone reviews and comparisons, you should check out some of our other videos right there and consider subscribing by clicking the circle above. This has been Vadim with Max Tech, and we'll see you in the next video.